This film is brought to you by 4-H, America's largest youth development organization. In collaboration with Montana State University and Terrapod. Imagine a world without technology. No, let's not. Hi, I'm Star, and like you, I'm surrounded by technology. Technology makes my life more fun, more social, and I stay connected. My science teacher thinks, as far as technology goes, we haven't seen anything yet. A special kind of technology, biotechnology, is going to change our lives. So, what is biotechnology? I Wikipedia it. Biotechnology is any technological application that uses biological systems. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, how about in English this time? Biotechnology is technology based on biology. It's scientists harnessing biology to do all sorts of cool things, like making new medicines, new foods, or copying things that happen in nature. One of the things scientists are trying to copy is bioluminescence, which is glow-in-the-dark in nature. My friend Amy in California has some strange ideas. She thinks biotechnology can make her glow. Wait, I'll let her tell you. It was so embarrassing. I mean, there I was at the dance having a good time with my friends. All of a sudden, I see my dad out of the corner of my eye. I just wanted to disappear. But, I mean, that's not going to happen. I glow in the dark. Just kidding. But what if she really could glow in the dark? Could biotechnology make her do that? Would that be cool or what? Dr. Latz. He's a scientist in San Diego. He studies glow in the dark animals. I wanted to meet him and ask him if biotechnology could make people glow in the dark. But I can't go to San Diego. So I did the next best thing. I asked Amy to go meet him. I texted her my questions. And here's what she found out. You're probably familiar with fireflies, which are beetles that come out at dusk on summer nights. They use bioluminescence for the males and females to find each other for mating. Bioluminescence is light that's made by organisms, by living things. This is very similar to how bioluminescence works. The, in here, there's actually two chemicals. And when you crack it, mm -hmm. then you allow the chemicals to mix, and then the light is produced. It's the same thing in bioluminescence, that there are two chemicals in the organisms, and under the right conditions, the chemicals mix, and then you get light being produced. If you go swimming at night, or if you're a scuba diver, you're probably familiar with these little sparkles of light. Those are produced by microorganisms called dinoflagellates. This is the room where we grow dinoflagellates that we use for our experiments. The dinoflagellates in here think it's nighttime, and just holding it here, not doing anything, you'll notice that there's no bioluminescence being produced. Mm -hmm. So they need to be agitated. And oh. that produces the bioluminescence. There's a lot of really fascinating bioluminescent organisms out there. There's squids and worms and shrimps. You could use bioluminescence to tell you about crops that are being stressed. If the, the crops are stressed, then they would glow. And so a farmer could survey the crops and see if there are trouble spots. But one example is in cancer research. Imagine a, a mouse, and they introduce a, a tumor into the mouse. And they want to see how well a certain drug acts on the cancer. They can have the tumor expressing the chemicals for bioluminescence. Wherever the tumor is in the body of this mouse, it'll glow. They can see if it's spread in the body of the mouse, then it'll be spread around. Or if they don't see very much, then the drug is working really well. Bioluminescence isn't biotechnology. It's a phenomenon that occurs in nature. But with the help of biotechnology, we may be able to harness natural phenomenon like bioluminescence in order to solve challenges we face in the world today. So what about glow-in-the-dark people? 
Turns out scientists have inserted glow-in-the-dark genes into fish, mice, and rabbits. Not people yet. Who knows? Maybe someday we'll all be lining up to get glow-in-the-dark shots. So as a kid, why should I care about biotechnology? Why should you care? Could biotechnology make more food and reduce world hunger? Could biotechnology help us trap carbon dioxide and reduce global warming? Could biotechnology make cheaper fuel and cheaper transportation? Could biotechnology help create new plastics that are biodegradable and won't clog our rivers or oceans? Could biotechnology actually make our world a better place? This movie about biotechnology was so easy to make, I challenge you to make your own. And it can be any number of things about how biotechnology can change your lives and our lives. This film is brought to you by 4-H, America's largest youth development organization. In collaboration with Montana State University and Terrapod.